headed your way. We're battling some harsh winter conditions with expert trapper Christian Decker as he fills us in on how to make wax dirt. If you scrape off your top layer, you can see that it is dry underneath. This segment of DOD TV is brought to you by Mossy Oak Gamekeepers. All right, we're gonna show you guys how to make wax dirt here. So we actually went to Old Barn and grabbed dirt from our honey hole. And by basically what you're gonna do, you're gonna try to screen out everything that is large because you don't want those big debris chunks getting underneath of your pans and causing possibly a non-fire. We're just gonna make a quick batch of it here for you. It'll be right about a gallon is what I end up running. That's enough for the batch that we're gonna run here. Again, the, the main component here is you gotta make sure that you have super dry dirt. So make sure you're underneath the bridges, in old barns, stuff like that. If you guys go gather it during the dead of the summer, that'll work too. Um, but again, you really need to watch your moisture content. This is one of my favorite stops here uh, for dry dirt, for making wax dirt. This stuff is a lot more tan. It's got a lot more sand in it. In the long run, I end up running a lot more of this stuff than I do out of the stuff out of the barn. We'll jump under the bridge here and grab a bucket full of dirt. I've used this bridge for like two or three years now, but we've got some water droplets and stuff coming around us. So you can see that gets making some of this dirt wet um, right there in that area. But if you get back up here towards the top, you'll see this stuff, it's bone dry and it's dry as, as can be. So it makes actually for bedding a trap a little bit easier. They bed in sand a fair amount better. Again, in coyote trapping, you don't really want to chance anything. You only have so many opportunities, so you want to make sure you capitalize on every opportunity that you get. When I make this, I just use a turkey roaster pan. Basically, my like the way that I've been making it, my recipe is I know that 12 cups of dirt do about two cups of wax, and then there's been a few times I've had to add just a little bit extra wax. This is what they call flake wax. Um, I believe it's actually paraffin wax is what it is, but you can see it's kind of kind of granular. Like you find like a fertilizer or um, something of that nature. But you can see that it's just kind of small pellets, but I know from cooking with this dirt before, that's gonna take about a cup and a half to two cups. You're gonna dump your wax in, and you're actually gonna mix it around and make sure that you're getting that wax kind of evenly distributed throughout your dirt. What we'll do is we'll let this dirt start to heat up a little bit. The main thing is, is you gotta continue to stir this stuff. Otherwise you can actually scorch it. If you scorch it, you're creating scents. And again, with creating scents in coyotes, um, it just doesn't mix. So we'll just make sure that we kind of continue to move it around and, and, and keep it circulating so that it, it doesn't get burnt on the bottom. But when it starts to look like the dirt is getting wet, that's the wax actually entering into the dirt and creating your wax dirt. So we'll just try to keep trying to move it around and keep it from burning up. This side is not treated yet. This side is, you can see where this is a lot darker, where it looks like it's almost like a wet dirt. And this side, the wax has not actually entered the dirt yet. You can actually still see the wax on the top side of it there, but. You can see as you start to move it around and whatnot, you'll see the steam and stuff coming off of it. That doesn't mean that you're scorching it, it just means that the dirt's heating up. But the main indicator is it looks like the dirt is actually almost getting wet. And that's that's basically it cooking and, and starting to take effect. So again, you can see it right here. This stuff is treated. This stuff is not at this point, at point in time, but Again, just keep moving it around and eventually it all will be. Guys will make this in all kinds of different ways. They use cement mixers. The guys that use a lot of this, they'll use solar boxes. Some guys will build boxes and they'll make this in the summertime during the off season. You actually use the sun's heat to melt the wax. This wax does not have a very high melting point. So it's pretty easy to, to get that stuff done with. But you can see right now, look at how much darker the dirt is right there and it's pretty much done. I'm gonna start just a few more times just to make sure anything around the edges is all treated. And once it gets to this point, we're gonna take it off of here and take it over to a table or cardboard of some sort. And you're gonna pour it out. 
Okay, so what you're gonna do is you wanna spread it out. The thing is about this stuff, remember it is wax. So you're gonna spread it out, let it cool down. Make sure you keep moving it around every once in a while to keep it from clumping up into one giant clump. If it clumps up on you, you can break it up, but it's not quite as effective. So basically we're gonna leave it here for a little bit, let it cool down. We'll come back every couple minutes, move it around. That's about where you wanna move it around. So if you're gonna just simply move it around, try to break up those clumps, keep it from trying to become one giant clump but just kind of keep breaking it up, keep moving it around. You see where it's starting to get, let the steam off again. That steam had actually kind of dissipated here before we moved it around, but we'll grab a glass of water here in a little bit and kind of show you how effective this stuff actually is. Make yourself a little mound, kind of make yourself a little divot in the middle and just pour like a little bit of water on it. But you'll just watch how this water will bead and just sit on top of that dirt. You can see down in the middle where it kind of actually kicked it away from the table, but you can see on the actual dirt, it is not penetrating that dirt and soaking in like a normal, like, like it would with normal dirt. I've said it before and I'll say it again. This stuff is honestly, in my opinion, the best stuff to keep a trap from freezing up during free stall cycles, during um, snow, during any sort of weather event. So again, just to show you how effective this is for trapping. We're going through a bad freeze thaw cycle right now. It actually just ran a couple inches and it iced over and now it's, it's all on thawing for us. But to show you what this wax dirt is capable of, you can see that it actually will continue. If you scrape off your top layer, you can see that it is dry underneath. So it'll repel that much water and keep your traps up and running through some of the nastiest stuff that you could possibly encounter. So this stuff is probably the best stuff that I have found to keep your traps up and running through some of the most inclement weather. These are the places we dreamed of as yeah. a child. Dury Outdoors is giving away the farm. It's a classic Northern Missouri awesome deer farm. Who wants to win it? Enter using the DeerCast mobile app or at duryoutdoors.com slash farm. We're adding new videos every week, so make sure to click that subscribe button and check out all of our amazing content. This episode of DOD TV was brought to you by Mossy Oak.